Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you that need to uh, replace piston or you need to remove your pistons to replace piston rings because let's say you have high oil consumption, anything like that. Stay with us, we'll explain how to do that and what needs to be done actually to uh, replace piston rings. Okay, uh, we will explain why it's not for everybody that kind of job and how complicated new engines are to the point that you have to take the whole engine apart in pieces practically to do that. So make sure to stay until the end and we'll explain why before we start okay let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos for you now if you need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from so with that being said let's explain what we have specifically here this right here is an engine that we've been taking apart to rebuild guys and uh, many of you ask me how do you replace piston rings how hard it is so we will explain in this video how hard it's to get to the piston itself the rings are a piece of cake guys replacing piston rings okay it takes only a few minutes but getting the piston out of the engine that's where okay the headache starts some engines are super complicated back in the day all we have to do all we had to do just remove the cylinder head okay because the piston needs to come from the top then you need to remove the oil pan and from the oil pan you're going to uh, remove the piston okay from the crankshaft okay this is the crankshaft right here let me show you now i'll show you where okay uh, the piston on cylinder number three is okay right here you can see so uh, let me go ahead turn it okay and piston will come okay you can see it attaches to the crankshaft okay with uh, uh, these two bolts guys okay so back in the day all we had to do do that you get the other pistons push them up later install them install the bearings uh, replace the rings and you're ready to go but nowadays guys it's complicated why because most of the engines will be timing chain driven also often engines will have especially four cylinder engines will have balance shaft with oil pump integrated in many many uh, actually companies use that design i've seen it bmw um, ford uh, hyundai kia uh, multiple companies use that now so you have nice run, uh, running smooth engine and that balance shaft is underneath right here so it's covering everything and you cannot get to the pistons so you need to disassemble timing chain cylinder head you need to guys do quite a bit of work to get to it remove that uh, assembly but that's not the uh, the bad thing with all sometimes sometimes the engine block will come in two pieces like the lower portion of the crankcase and upper engine block right here you can see how the two separate practically guys right and if you pay attention okay right here we can access uh, pistons for uh, cylinder one two and three now okay one two and three but cylinder number four is hidden right there so you need to take the lower portion of the crankcase to get to the uh, to the connecting rod for cylinder number four or the main bearings of the crankshaft you can see you cannot access them so it takes guys okay quite a bit of work and once you do that you will be able just to push your piston up to the cylinder okay you can see we have the cylinders this is disconnected this is not and that's your piston guys now uh, <coughs> how we disconnect it from the connecting rod it's pretty simple we have video that explains that piston rings okay we have a special video that will teach you which way piston rings need to point when you install them because you can see you can turn them okay so we have a video that explains how to install piston rings and i would recommend to do it with a special tool which uh, minimizes the chance okay to break actually guys okay to break uh piston ring but we've been doing it for a while so even with hands okay i can usually okay remove them okay in no time you can see just like that and then you have the oil ring that consists okay of two components or three in some cases it really depends and you have the ring and you have the oil catching spring okay in the middle of the piston as well so a little bit complicated guys it's not job for everybody to do if you're to that point i recommend okay you have to be really good with engines have more experience or uh, just take it to somebody that knows what they're, what they're doing because you need to know torque specs and all that stuff so uh, hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time 